Poker News, it seems as if there is a late-breaking story developing over at the NAPT at Resorts World. What are the details, James? It's Jamin. You know that. Don't act like you don't know my name. Anyway, thanks, Jock. From my sources over at the NAPT, it appears as if two contestants have been selected to appear in the reincarnation of Poker Star's Big Game as loose cannons. They will be given a $50,000 free roll to play 150 hands of 100-200 no limit against some of the best professionals in the game. These are exciting times for Nikki Limo and Lily Newhouse. Good luck, women, as you... Wait, that's your Lily. She's not mine. I don't own her. Ah, now I see why you showed up to work today. You just wanted to big up your girlfriend. Very unprofessional. It's news. News is news. Uh Aha. I see. I will have a talk with HR about this news you are reporting on. I don't want to go out no more. Voices in my head's getting overboard. I'm going to need some time to breathe. Just let me breathe. It is a rare Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Tuesday, even rarer. Rare Tuesday evening starts at the Bellagio. I honestly don't even know why I called it rare. It's just Tuesday. So, Tuesday evening and we get seated pretty quickly. Folded a couple hands and then this happened. The hijack opens to $30 and we find a pretty indifferent call here with pocket sixes. Heads up to the flop, and we see King of Diamonds, Queen of Spades, Seven of Spades. Mmm, there's not a lot to do on this one. I check. He slides $20 into the middle, and I find the fold. Insta-stuck. $30 now. So, for all you out there that say, Jamin never loses. There you go. I lost. I'm buried. Happy? It's times like these when you're buried $30 and you see no way out that you have to make the hard choice and decide whether to fight or flee. We fight on. Here, under the gun limps, and we race to $40 from the hijack with King 7 of clubs and only he calls. I can't get mad at the 7-3 deuce flop with two clubs and when he checks, we continue for $60. He calls again. The turn pairs to three, which I really can't envision him having many of, so when another check comes my way, I continue betting. $100. Again, he calls. The river ace of clubs, well, that's just a thing of beauty. However, now he leads out for $200. What in the world kind of line is this? He limp calls, check calls, check calls and then leads confused but i'm never folding here if he has a boat well pay that man his money i call and he shows ace 10 all suit for a river to pair i'm unstuck shortly after i open pocket jacks from the low jack to 25 dollars and get raised by one of the better pros in the room to 100 dollars from the small blind I call. Unfortunately, I don't catch the best flop in King of Clubs, Queen of Diamonds, Five of Clubs, and it's even more unfortunate to see the small blind continuing for $60. I probably could just find a fold here, but I find the $60 call. The turn Six of Diamonds doesn't resemble anything that is going to better my plight, and when he fires $120 my way, the funeral for my jacks begins. In this hand, the four seat, also the under the gun player, and also the loosest, most unpredictable and stickiest player at the table opens to $30. Action returns to me in the small blind and I call with a hand that would probably be a fold versus anyone else in this entire room. Pocket deuces. My call instantly bears fruit when the king of clubs, deuce of hearts, jack of hearts flop materializes and I check. He continues for $40 and I decide to check raise here rather than spring the trap later due to the texture of this flop. There are a ton of hands that he should be opening with from under the gun that have no problem continuing here. I make it $120 and he chooses this time 
not to get sticky. He folds. In the very next hand, I'm on the button and open to $30 with 7-6 offsuit and only get action from the same player. Now in the big line. If we're making a list of most favorable flops, this one would most likely be on it. 7-6-7 seven, seven with two spades. He checks and I see bet small, $15, and he min check raises me. I don't spend too much time thinking about how this makes no sense. I just call. The turn brings a 10 of hearts and he now leads for $60. So he's saying that he has something. But I seriously doubt that his something is as something he as my something. I min raise him back, $120. Again, no stickiness. He folds. Five minutes later, not even a full orbit, I look down at pocket aces from the low jack and open at $25, which earns me a call from the cutoff and the big blind. Great. The cutoff is loosey-goosey, and the big blind plays very face-up. Ace, eight, five, rainbow. So in one orbit, I've played three hands, flopped one full house, and two sets. Easy game. The big blind checks, and I continue for $25. They both call. The turn three of spades puts two spades on board, and the big blind checks again. I raise the price of admission now to $110. The cutoff comes along, but the big blind no longer wants to ride this ride. When the river queen of clubs appears, I kind of level myself. I check, thinking that the cutoff may take this as weakness and use this opportunity to unleash one of his large overbets. I fail as he checks it back. I expose my set of aces, and he shows me 5-4 of clubs. You chop that. There's a secret. There's a secret to flopping sets. I try to tell people the secret. I try to teach them, but they don't want to hear it. The secret is, here's what you do. Before I came up here today, I sat at my kitchen table and I gave myself pocket pairs and I just flops, flops, just trying to miss sets. Miss, 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 <laughs> miss for hours. And then I come up here and now the math is right. Like I have to hit, like, <laughs> like the math has to even out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll have to try that. You just have to practice missing at home. My sets, I miss my straight draws. I miss my plus draws. Then I come here. You got to put in the hours, Fred, you know? I stay home. Yeah, you don't see me. Yeah. It's just math. Like, it's got to work out. Then I come up here and people are like, oh, you're so lucky. Like, they don't see the hours I put in. They don't see the, the paper cuts all over my fingers. You know what I mean? Like, they don't see the dedication. <laughs> poker doesn't always have to be a cutthroat financial leveraging experience. Replay Poker is a leading online platform for free poker games. Established in 2005, it is a place where players of all levels can test their poker skills without the risk of real money. This site offers a vast selection of games, providing a variety of experiences for every player. It's built for those over 18 and requires no software download. That's right, no software download. Making it an easily accessible platform for people all over the world. Come join me on Replay Poker. I make a blunder in this next one. From the low jack, I open ace nine of clubs to $25 and hit three bet by the button to $90. I decide to ignore the fact that the button's three bet size is way too large. I also decide to ignore the fact that the button is one of the tightest players in the room. In addition, I decide to ignore the fact that this hand in this configuration is just a fold. Instead, I lean into the delusion that I'm going to flop the nuts and win all the money. Spoiler, that doesn't happen. I call the oversized three bet and we head to the flop. Ace of hearts, king of hearts, seven of clubs. I check and he continues for $90. Well, I mean, I can't fold now. I flop top pair and my flush is getting ready to begin coming in. 
Call $90. The turn pairs the king and I check again. His $230 turn bet slaps me back to my senses and I fold. But not before I paid $180 for a lesson I already knew. Fold preflop, idiot. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Call. Call. <laughs> outside for this mid-session update I don't know what to say my game is good bordering on great I'm getting no hands I'm folding first hour hour and a half started off great flopped a set with deuces flopped a full house with seven six offsuit flopped a set with aces and since then nothing folding I think I folded for 95% of the hands that I've probably seen in the last hour and a half. So, when it comes to the mid-session update, I have nothing to say. And I do it in one take. One take, Jamin, let's go. I did that in one take. You know when the last time I did the mid-session update in one take is? It's been a while. We're back, baby. We're back. This, this vlog is too long. I think I'm just gonna split it right here. But no worries, there's no waiting for part two. I'm just gonna release both parts at the same time.